Here's a little construction update. I decided to install a wood stove in the Winnebago and uh, yeah, probably the size is a little overkill but hey the stove was free and it's a relatively good one. It's one that's supposed to slide into an old fireplace so not only does it have a heavy duty airtight case but all, all around the uh, stove there's a heat shield as well which isn't a bad idea. So then the, uh, the chimney runs up, sidesteps around the uh, cupboards a little bit I'm going to have to take the, one of the doors off there, of course, and who knows, might even have to put some metal heat shield up between the chimney and the wood. The, uh, go through the ceiling, <coughs> I used an old Winnebago skylight, it got broken a long time ago and somebody had made up like a galvanized steel cap and screwed it down. So anyways, the whole thing made a nice little pass through there. The, uh, it's a double wall chimney there's no insulation in it but it's double wall stainless on the inside and um, my clearance is uh, about four four to six inches here goes up to a foot and between the stove and the wall there's only uh, three inches so I might put up some heat shield in there like uh, cement backer board or stainless steel we'll see how much heat's getting thrown sideways there so if we go up through the uh, skylight here where it punches through the uh, metal cap. You can see I used my handsaw with a carbide blade or whatever it is, the, uh, the black cutting disc. And uh, I just cut a little bunch of lines, grooves into it, folded the pieces of steel up and I decided to keep them and then as you can see I put a hose clamp sort of thing on there, pipe clamp, and it just kind of ties everything together. Now, this piece of pipe here is um, a compression piece, an extender piece. So this piece here can pull up and then I'm going to put a cap, a china cap on top and then to increase the uh, you know, the water shedding here I've got this old pass through here that I'm going to slide over the top of the chimney next. I just wanted to take some pictures before I <clears throat> covered everything up. So let's go do that. Okay, he's just doing a little smoke check here. Put a bunch of paper in there. He sticks a kindling inside the stove. I'm just going to watch and see. There's a, a double nipple at this joint I shoved in there. Top pipe actually probably was supposed to go the other way around, but I couldn't figure out how. I guess the outer sheeting had to come off or anything. Something. At any rate, it was easier to take a, a double nipple and shove it in there. Now, just to wait and see how smoky it is. Once the draft gets going, it should be all right. Let's go and have a look outside. So, uh, there's the smoke coming out the top. I think that, uh, what the hell do you call those pipes? Compression pipe or whatever, you know, they slide in and out of each other. I think the top piece slides up a bit farther yet. And uh, later on, if I can make some brackets, I might put another four or six foot extension on that but I'll need some some sort of bracing to, to tie the pipe down. The way it is right now I can go up through that skylight and push the pipe up and down so that's not too bad a deal. And that's you know a lot of smoke because we're burning garbage basically some paper and cardboard and stuff so once the fire gets going properly it won't be so bad. It's a good idea where your carbon dioxide is going to go. Right now it's going right past that vent in the front windows. But it's not really dumping right on the big skylight there so not badly. So yeah, another four feet might be a good idea. Get that carbon dioxide or monoxide or whichever one it is a bit farther away. <laughs> 